Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be playing The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Honestly, I've seen very good previews of this video, uh, of this video, <laughs> of this game. Um, so I thought I'd try it out again. Um, you know, let's go ahead and see how this goes. The story you're about to live is shaped by its details. Observe everything with care will lead you to the truth. Okay, so this guy, this kind of reminds me of, um, I don't know if you guys ever heard of, I forgot the game name. <laughs> My dear Nicole, you are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart, and, I can't read that. And, Fair. We've been through a lot, and I know things haven't always been easy. But remember what Dr. Franklin said after your speech at high school graduation. Faced with a dragon, one must badish brand... <laughs> I like messed that up so bad. One must brandish sword and shield. Sometimes one has to know when to kneel before the dragon. I don't know if the music is too loud, but I think it's fine. I've always thought of you as a, fri a fighter who, faced with the toughest challenges, is capable of branding, brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and hero- Okay, words are hard sometimes. Hero- oh, Whatever. <laughs> I can't! I'm sorry guys, I'm so bad at narrating. We never talked about- what happened with your father, but now I need to tell you a few things before this illness spreads us. Separates us. Spreads us. Separates us. Whoa. Interesting. Whoa. Am I- am I supposed to go forward? I'm just- <laughs> I'm just trying to bit through people. Excuse me, people! The affairs your father had with young women a year, a year, a years, woman years ago, and her ensuring suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head in that moment. My father no longer exists for me. I can only trust my mother. Oh, affair nine years ago. Okay, that father had that. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I gotta restart. That your father had... Okay, retake. That your father had imperably betrayed our trust, and that she had done the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff. I was there. I've always been there. When you dislocated your shoulder, shoulder at the first game, when you sobbed at night in a room you didn't recognize, and when you kissed Duncan Forbes under the Christmas mistletoe in 1985, you marched against abortion in your first year at college, and when Duncan was a good kid, but even if I never said so before, I immediately thought you wouldn't have a lot to talk about talking is the foundation for every relationship if you don't talk you don't you drift apart there is so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it first of all i'm sorry this is quite an intro <clears throat> i can already tell the game is is a uh, pretty good Epic. I never thought rage was an emotion worthy uh, of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have. My love, I want you to be free from the past once and for all. That is why I wanted you to do exactly as I say, sell our hotel. The hotel is my family's and you've entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer. Lawyer in Hel Helena. 
Mr. Jenkins to give you this letter once your father has passed away. I, I will already be gone long. Take a quiet and quick inspection. Sign the papers and sell the walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your university loans and give the rest to, to the girl plus family. <clears throat> Let's end this story once and for all. Let's end the story once and for all. Come. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchildren's birth. But that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use, use yours to love. There's nothing else worthy living for, fighting for, or dying for. Believe me, I love you above all else, dear mother. June 24th, 1991. Oh my gosh, I am so bad at narrating, guys. I'm sorry. I, I struggled. <laughs> I'm like the slowest reader, uh, reader ever. <laughs> it's it's pretty bad. I'm all bright in this really dark game. <laughs> like, my lighting is just like... Is that her mother? Or maybe her father. Helena National Forest, Montana, USA, December 1993. That was before I was born. Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerns My green screen is messing up. The storm that hit Billings in Sorry guys. With 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clout County? <laughs> oh gosh. My green screen was like, oh heck no, it's too bright. Montana. I didn't even like read what that lady was saying. <sighs> I was a little distracted by my green screen. Okay, let's see how this goes. So, so far, it's actually, uh, honestly, really great intro. I mean, yeah. That's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. Yes, ten years ago. <clears throat> okay. Oof. Leonard's motorcycle. Motorbike. Okay. Um, it seems very dark in here. Alright, let's just go through this door. Okay. Welcome. The said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Okay. The main... Alright. We can walk faster. I'm like, we're gonna walk so slow. It's a phone ringing. Oh, wrong one. I hear the phone coming from there. Okay. No one's not gonna answer that? Oh. Oh, it's over here. Oh, my roller is broken. Oh, there it goes. Thank you for calling. Please leave a message. 
Ooh. Oh, look, it's an old telephone. 911 emergency. How can I help you? What's your emergency? Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? Uh. Mr. McGrath, hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I, I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Nicole, oh. it's Jenkins, the attorney. Scare me. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy Bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh, very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? Okay, to-do list. Mr. Jinxon- Jinxon. G- <laughs> We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland to mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. Hmm, <clears throat> okay. Mr. Jenkins said he left the management key in a master suite. Okay, so the master suite queue. Okay. This is like huge. Or oh, here. What floor is it on? Thir oh, it's on the first floor. This is the first floor? Am I on the first floor? Where am I? I'm all lost. Uh, okay, let's just find it. Oops. Do that. This is a big building. <laughs> See how many floors there are? There's only three floors, but still, like, that's a lot of floors. Okay, so I'm like near the office area. Dining room. Okay, so let's go open our map. That's the dining room area. Oh, we're on the main floor. Okay, we have to go upstairs. Okay. That's the basement. Okay, so we have to go up to the first floor. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Um, we have to go up to the first floor, which we are right. Okay, I can I can see where we are now. Okay, we can go up these stairs right here. So, can I? How do I exit? Okay. Um. There it goes. <laughs> Pushing like all the buttons on my keyboard, of course. Okay, so we're on the first floor. Um. I think it's. Oh, we're not on the first floor. <laughs> we're on like, okay, here we go. What's that? Okay, it's Master Suite. What is that sound? Okay, here's the Master Suite. <clears throat> Do you hear that? It sounds like breathing. That's creepy. There's an open door too. Hello, people. Let's just close the van behind us. Okay, so we found the room. My room. Okay, it said where? Not the magnificent key in the master suite. Okay, so I had to find it. Okay. 
camera. Just open all the doors. Okay, so we have to find keys. So let's see, keys, keys, keys. Those are matches. <clears throat> it's a pen. Calculations. Okay. <clears throat> oh, right here. Um, property, own rights, please acknowledge the letter. Oh my gosh, testament, last will and testament. I don't know what- <laughs> Should probably read those, but... Okay, book. I don't see any keys chilling in anywhere. <clears throat> Not even on this table. Okay. Looks very cold outside. I don't like the cold. I can't wait till it's summer, guys. Maybe it's like right here. <laughs> Glasses. Okay. I'm sorry, what? What was that? Was that the toilet? <laughs> oh jeez, so much medication. Sponge. Why would we need to look at a sponge? <laughs> God, everything's here exactly the same as when me and mom left ten years ago. It's so... It doesn't matter. <sighs> doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. What is that pounding? Is it somebody upstairs? Old friend. What is this? Oh, um, wow. Radio. The victims in the last three days. The snow plows are ready, but we're waiting for the intensity of the snowfall to get possible blackouts in the more isolated areas. Make sure your generators are in good condition for stockpiles of fuel. Instructions to refrain from going outside unless the isolated person returns. Turn the key. Can we turn it off? <laughs> That's creepy. There's so many floppy disks everywhere. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. Huh. I'll need a master key for the guest room, so. A master key for the guest rooms? Would that be in the... So can I go... Okay, obviously I gotta go to the management. What the... Sounds like it's... Coming from right there! Oh, what the heck? What is this? That's sounds weird. Right? Is is this a joke? Hello? C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh, uh this is um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... Whatchamacallit? Uh, I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? 
I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. Uh, but, but the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware that... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. I... You... I... Bye. He sounded very concerned. But... <sighs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. So we gotta find the management. <clears throat> Which is where? Okay. I don't know. I guess we'll f find it somehow, right? Okay, um, let's see. This place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that. Yeah. This is a real mess. A rat! <gasps> what the flip? What was that? I just realized that my game is like really extremely loud. Oh. Oh no. Okay, uh. It's fine, we're not gonna go in there and just close it. That's. Okay, after several minutes of trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do, even though there's a to do list, it tells me to go in here, so. And it's very spooky. That's probably gonna be a jump scare. Oh jeez. They just flew off. Hello? Hey, you still there, Irving? Huh? Oh yeah, uh, I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Uh, uh the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Obviously... Yes! No, we're probably... Uh, no. No. Oh, I, I can't change no. it. Uh, uh, listen, if your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just... Uh, Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Uh, seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck mm. doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... Uh, to, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! <laughs> well, alright. What can uh. go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. Okay, I meant to change... to respond with no, but... I guess we'll see what happens. This is the dining area. This is the dining area. I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. Are we leaving? <laughs> I'm so like. There's a to-do list. Take the car and get away from here before the storm arrives. Do. Uh, okay. We're just, we're just gonna leave. Okay, I'm about to say no, but I guess we're gonna have to go anyways. We out of here. We out of here. We don't care about this. We don't care about this shit. Let's get out of here. Flip this, man. Let's go. Tell oh. me you changed your mind. 
You there? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My <gasps> fucking car keys. I left them on the seats. Why sure? was... Think so. Maybe someone... <sighs> uh, no. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it, I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell so phones, uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypassed the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Oh, this place. I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Ugh, oh, fine. Oh. Wow, guys. Oh, how can you just leave your key on a car seat? Just take your key. Oh my gosh. Like, you never know who is here in this place. We have to open the garage door. Hope it works. <laughs> uh, yeah. All the snow is gonna blow in, and then, yeah, we're gonna just gonna die. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, damn it. Uh, the stuff freezes up with the cold. Clearly. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look, I left this place 10 years ago. I had no idea I would I'm have to come back come. here, let alone stay a night. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. How do you change? What? Let's just forget it. I didn't want to be out of line. For, I don't know how to change the... Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, I think we're going to end it here. Uh, so far, so good. I honestly love just everything about the game so far. I know it's horror too as well, and I just I keep looking behind me because I just feel like something's gonna come up behind me and like scare me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that. Hey, uh, found anything useful? No, no keys, no garage door. I can't get out of here without freezing. Christ! It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might. Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. Oh, thanks, Irving. Just doing my job. Nicole? Yeah. I if I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with the job... You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. This is... Uh, okay. Uh, later. Doesn't look too safe. I don't know. Anyways... I I'm stuck. Shit. <laughs> All right, we're going to continue on to part two. I don't know how many parts this game is going to have, but I hope you guys stick with me throughout the whole series, guys. I am excited for this game. And don't forget to check out my other videos, too. I do have um, play other games as well. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for hanging out with me. Bye.